What's happening? This is Andy at Dranglers, and today we are talking about the magical, mystical Sage R8 Core. One thing about the R8 is they truly made a great all water slash freshwater rod meaning I would classify this as a fantastic trout rod, bass rod. I could fish dries, nymphs, streamers easily. I've been throwing really heavy nymph rigs with this today just because of all the wind and the dirty off color water. No problem. Threw dries with it the other day, cast like a laser beam. And streamers too. One thing that's really cool about this rod is you can throw a variety of different sink tips or full intermediates. I was throwing uh, just a five foot sink, fast sink with it the other day and it just with that progressive load, but a lot of power in the butt section, it really does launch that sink tip, that heavier stuff really well with heavier flies on the end of that. It is indeed an all water rod, meaning multi-application, do a lot of different stuff with it. This is the 590, and I've had a few weeks to play with this, to cast it, to fish it, variety of situations, a variety of less than ideal situations, honestly, we've had some Low elevation snow melt, so the river's dirtied up, but it's cleaned up a bit today, seen a few betas. Water's still pretty cold, so fish aren't keying in actively on really anything. It's been a little difficult, but I have had a chance to hook into a variety of fish sizes. There's been a lot of promotional stuff out there. I've been writing a blog post about it. It's going to go a little more in depth than this, but the question always remains. Does the product match the marketing? And in fact, yes, I can assuredly say it does. Sage has built an instant classic. I don't want to try and sound too much, too much hyperbole, 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 but uh, this is one of the better ones out there. Especially the five weight, uh, six and seven weights too are really, really nice. Great nymphing rods, uh, but what they built was an all water rod, meaning you can fish this for trout, bass, and conceivably in the higher weights, saltwater stuff. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but for this one, fished uh, dries, fished nymphs, fished streamers, and it casts really well. The thing I noticed immediately about this rod, especially here on the Animus where we have a lot of variety of currents, is the mendability of it, if that's even a word. Uh, how this mends, how you can throw stack mends, how you can throw upstream or downstream mends. Uh, you can feed line downstream, you can get a really long drift. It's really, really smooth, as uh, the country song says. I think that's the country song. But, you know, this rod, as far as uh, an all-water rod for Colorado, A+, plus, 10 out of 10, would recommend. What's weird about it is I would not ca classify this as a fast-action rod. The say, I know Sage does. Sage says this is uh, in their fast-action family. Uh, to me, a fast-action rod uh, might have been the old uh, iteration, the X, or especially the Sage Igniter. That rod is extremely fast. It's a board. This one does, you could classify it as fast, but it's more of a moderate progressive action, meaning when you get that rod loaded, you feel that load throughout the entirety of this blank, all the way down almost to the butt section of this. The weird thing of it is it fishes, fishes really good in close, you know, short cast, five, 10 feet, 20 feet if you need, you know, a lot of times with those fast action rods, you're really working your arm over time to just try and get those short casts or those short mends with this, it fishes really close, really great. The weird thing about it, we all took it out to the park, uh, got some footage of that, but we all took it out to the park and we're casting and holy moly, we've just all thrown 100 feet of fly line. Uh, not that that's the intended use of a five or a six weight, but you can do it. One thing we did notice with this more progressive, moderate, fast action, is you really do have to slow down your stroke. as. Sage puts it elongated stroke. Odd. Makes sense though. The uh, what you got to do is just slow down that cast a little bit more. Go watch a Lefty Cray video on YouTube. You'd be amazed at how much effort he doesn't put into that cast to really just get the most out of it. And through that, we're getting 70, 80, 90 feet cast really easy. This is a rod for everybody, meaning you can really put this in anyone's hands man, woman, beginner, expert, whoever, kids and they can fish it. Though it's not for everybody. It is for anybody, but it's not for everybody. What I mean by that is this is one of Sage's flagship rods that now goes over the 1K, meaning this rod comes in at 
1050 price tag, so it's not a slouch cheap rod, but you get a whole lot of rod for that price. It's not the first rod to enter that 1000 plus mark, but this is what we're gonna start seeing with top end fly rods, I would expect. A lot of rods are clocking in right under a thousand anyway. So you can swing by the shop and give it a cast. We'd love to have you uh, check it out. We got them in the store now. We got four, five, six, seven, eight weights right now, but a variety of models from three weight to nine weights. Some of those top end rods are really nice. They are fantastic all water rods, meaning you can take that seven, eight, nine weight and use it in most situations that call for those seven, eight, nine weights. So good streamer rod for sure. Throws, one thing we did notice is it does throw really, really nice casts with a variety of sink tips. Uh, saltwater rod too. This did win best saltwater rod at IFTD this year for the nine weight. Uh, it's more of a progressive, uh, fast action. So one thing I would definitely like to do is take that seven or eight weight into the mangroves in Florida fishing for snook, uh, redfish, maybe some baby tarpon with the eight or nine weight. I think that's perfect for that. What I did notice too, I've got gusts of winds going on today with the five weight and it still handled the wind just fine. So can imagine you wouldn't be just happy fishing that eight or nine weight in the salt water where there's always wind. The coloration of this, I forget it's some kind of green and they got these beautiful rod wraps. A lot of details, especially for their higher end flagship model should be expected, but rod weight marking on the back. My favorite lines for the five weight were the Rio Premier Gold or the Rio Perception. The Scientific Angler's MPX was also a good choice. It seemed like at least for the five weight, the line really didn't matter. It really did well with a variety of lines, even the Scientific Angler's Trout Series. In the upper weights, Rio Predator seemed to be a good choice, but gold worked pretty good throughout the entire lineup. Check them out, deranglers.com as well, or give us a call, 970-385-4081. Thanks for watching our Sage R8 Core review video. In my personal opinion, it is a fantastic rod. Please, if you like this video, please subscribe below. Thanks, take care.